Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. Today we have the second half of a book haul from a recent trip. In the first half, I called the video The Old. These were used books that I picked up in Detroit, Boston, Syracuse, and St. Catharines, Ontario. Today, we're going to focus on the new. These are books that I picked up in Toronto, and also books that came in the mail for me by the time I had returned. But even before that, I want to talk about a couple of viewers who've got in contact with me in some unique ways. One of the things that was in the mail when I returned was a science fiction postcard, a Penguin book postcard. You can see it's of Last and First Men by Olaf Stapledon. This is from Bruce in Toronto. Bruce had recently sent me a book by Alistair Reynolds that completed the Revelation Space series that I've been collecting. Let's put this the right way. Dear Richard, glad to discover your YouTube channel. It is great to meet a fellow Canadian SF fan who enjoys SF Masterworks and Alistair Reynolds. Your road trip book haul video from a while back was great. You've also inspired me to get a few Ace Science Fiction specials. Wishing you the best and hope you enjoy the Reynolds trilogy. Cheers, Bruce from Toronto. I think he was referring to my trip to Arizona. Now. Bruce, let's take a look at my book haul from your neck of the woods, Toronto. Oh, but I forgot there was one more piece of mail that I wanted to talk about. When I got home, there was a book here that I hadn't ordered. The Golden Age Masterworks C.L. Moore Judgment Night. This is a brand new book from Amazon, and it was a gift from my Vintage SF list. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in the descriptions for the videos, if you would like to help me gather some of these books, I do have a wish list on Amazon. And so if you wanted to, you could gift me one. No need, but it's really gratefully appreciated. So this was a gift from a fellow YouTuber. Keith writes, thank you for all the videos. I look forward to the SF Masterworks series. And this is Keith from Tau Zero SF. Let me just put an image of his channel up over here and there will be a link in the description to the video. Thank you so much, Keith. I'm really enjoying making videos for the SF Masterworks and I do include the Golden Age Masterworks in those videos. Really appreciate the book, thank you. So let's talk about Toronto. In Toronto, I'd almost got to book fatigue by the time I got there but I actually emailed Bruce from Toronto to ask him where might be a good place to look for used books. And he suggested a place called BMV. I took a picture of their website and so here's their story. If you wanna see the entire story, just pause the video here. But BMV's opened its first location in March of 1997 as a true secondhand bookstore in downtown Toronto beside the iconic world's biggest bookstore. In November 2005, they were able to launch their own superstore at 471 Bloor Street West. They call it the BMV Annex Location. You can see a picture to the right, the blue building, which is known as the Hungarian Castle Building. And there's a picture of the inside of that building. BMV stands for Books, Music, and Videos. And Toronto's best selection of books, music, and videos changes on an almost daily basis. Their Bloor Street store adds about a thousand new items to its inventory daily. So let's take a brief moment to look at their website. I'm looking under fiction, science fiction, and bargain books. In here, I picked up a number of books. There were books from The Expanse and also science fiction masterworks. Their website is bmvbookshop.com. So while in Toronto, I did go to Bloor Street and visit the store, and I picked up three masterworks. You'll have to understand, by this point, I had so many books, I wasn't sure if I could actually fit them all in my luggage. But here's why I picked up those books. They were on sale. The first one here is Arslan by M. J. Eng. And you can see on the sales ticket there, that it was $6.99, regularly priced $20, and this is Canadian dollars. 
Let me actually show you a comparison of Canadian dollars for this book to UK pounds, the euro, and the US dollar. So you can see it's a bargain to get these SF Masterworks at $6.99 Canadian. So I picked up this one. I also picked up Robert Silverberg's A Time of Changes. You can see the BMV sticker on there again. This one was for $8.99. I like the image on this one. It looks like a computer generated head, but I like the maze and I like the nebula or, or gaseous space elements that are coming out of the head. So these are brand new books. One more that I picked up in the bookstore was Gwyneth Jones, White Queen. That one was $6.99. Whoops, there we go. And it's winner of the James Tiptree Jr. Award. So those books came home with me in our luggage. And then I went on to their website and I found some more books that weren't in that store. They apparently have a warehouse where they have stock as well. So I ordered a few more books, four books to be precise. Two more SF Masterworks. Trisha Sullivan, Dreaming in Smoke. That was $7.99. It's a winner of the Arthur C. Clarke Award for Best Novel. And Bernard Wolf, Limbo, $7.99. Harlan Ellison says, To my mind, Bernard Wolf remains one of the most remarkable original writers of the 20th century. The two other books I picked up were Orbit books, and they completed my collection of The Expanse. I was missing number seven, Persepolis Rising, and the BMV price for this new book, $9.99. And when I was looking on the website at these books, I realized there is also, let's call it an addendum to the series. Memories Legion. This is the Complete Expanse Story Collection. That was $9.99 as well. So if you were in Canada, I would recommend BMV as a website that you might want to go to for some bargain books. The only other website that I've gone to that has some of these type of prices is rarewaves.com from the UK. Of course, shipping costs vary from location. So that was Toronto, a good haul of new books. And then I returned home and I found a number of books had arrived that I'd ordered from rarewaves.com. More books for my SF Masterworks library. I'm going to go through these a little bit more rapidly. One of my favorite authors recently from both the A Science Fiction Specials and from the SF Masterworks is Ursula K. Le Guin. The word for world is forest. This is from the mid-1970s. It's a very thin book, but it's set in the heinous universe, as I understand. Someone that I read for the first time in the Ace Science Fiction Specials was Roger Zelazny. So I have a couple of his books as well. This is one of his most famous books, Lord of Light. As well as the best of Roger Zelazny. A writer I haven't heard of is Joseph O'Neill, Land Under England. One more Ursula K. Le Guin, Always Coming Home. Let me read a little bit about this one. A long, long time from now, in the valleys of what will no longer be called Northern California, 
might be going to have lived a people called the Kesh. But always coming home is not the story of the Kesh. Rather, it is the stories of the Kesh. Stories, poems, songs, recipes. Always coming home is no less than an anthropological account of a community that does not yet exist. A tour de force of imaginative fiction by one of modern literature's greatest voices. Sounds interesting. And this last one is actually a replacement for a book that I traded away. I've been thinking about this book a lot over the last few months, and I don't think I gave it a fair review. I do want to do an upon further review video of this book. So I'm going to reread Robert A. Highland's Starship Troopers. And in the SF Masterworks, this is a hardcover or a laminate hardboard. So those books all came to me via Rare Wave. There was one other book I ordered at full price. The reason I did so is this author's stories have been out of print for some time. I do have several vintage copies of his work, but this one was too good to pass up. Harlan Ellison's Greatest Hits. There's a foreword by Neil Gaiman, an introduction by Cassandra Ka, and it's edited by J. Michael Straczynski. So many, many of these stories you would recognize. They're broken into sections, angry gods, lost souls, the passage of time, and the lighter side. That is my new book haul. New books, most at a bargain price. So let me know what you think of the new books that I picked up. Do you have any recommendations of used bookstores in any cities around the world? I would love to hear about more used bookstores. If you watched my last video, The Old, you know that I found the best used bookstore I've ever been in on this trip. In Detroit, there's a bookstore called John K. King's Used and Rare Books. You can take a look in my last video to see some information about that bookstore. So until next time, keep visiting those used bookstores and keep reading.